Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Ichiran Naite Nagatoro-san episode number 9. Alright, the previous episode. We had an episode which was fully dedicated to embarrass Nagatoro. And <laughs> like each and every section, you know, ended with Nagatoro being embarrassed. The whole thing with like, you know, uh, the, the carrying the piggyback thing. And then in the end, the whole, um, what do you call it? The the bath like you know the, the bath the video call like incident that happened and also before that the whole like you know she was riding senpai on his back and stuff like that and there was also this little section with like them kind of thinking about what will happen if senpai becomes a kohai you know if, she, if he fails <laughs> all that stuff it was great and it was <laughs> Like, you know, the embarrassment factor for Nagatoro's, like, you know, uh, side is also increasing day by day. Like, it was like, like, you know, it was kind of one-sided in the beginning. But as time is going on, we can see the scale kind of being balanced now, in a way. And who knows, maybe in the future, it will tilt towards Nagatoro's side. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get started with Ijina Naide Nagatoro-san, episode number 9. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. What? Is that Nagatoro? Oh, what? She's practicing boxing or something? Oh, shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the technique. <laughs> Ippo show. Oh, uh, are they talking about Hajime and Ippo? Oh no. Oh no. She's going to make him his guinea pig. Her. <laughs> yeah, he's an artist. You know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Stop right before I hit you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Again. <laughs> this is a continuation from the previous episode. Oh no. Um uh, what was she doing? Um. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Her face is going to change. Oh no, this completely went in the wrong direction, Nagatoro. Yeah. Um. <laughs> She's thinking, what can I say here, you know? Yeah, good. I let you face. I'm special. Okay, okay. Oh no, Gamo's not backing down. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh my god, that wrong went in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, wow. Alright, let's see what <laughs> What bullying techniques she does this is not bullying at this point, you know, like it has completely changed like It's like as as they say like you know teasing that's just it And the friends have also changed in a lot of ways All right. <coughs> Let's see. <laughs> Senpai such a close. Oh my god. Okay. His <laughs> face just he looks so tired. I need my oasis. Oh my god, in his oasis there are people now. There are people in his oasis now. <laughs> it's no oasis anymore. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Um <yeah. laughs> It's like their hangout place now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and they go back to doing the same thing. Well, <laughs> you guys are doing the same thing here. <laughs> Well, where's Sakura? Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, what? Um, what? Blackmail or something? Saboteur? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I get it. <laughs> okay, they're gonna fight amongst themselves now. Wow. That's how we break up a group. <laughs> a week. Not explode, but implode. Good. <laughs> mm, okay, a week, alright. Yeah. Um. Cheap. Ah. 
Um, well... <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What what is this? <laughs> what type of fight is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Bet? Oh, okay. I don't think so. Oh, maybe... Oh, oh, he used to bring those, like... Maybe he is hiding them here. Like, you know those manga were like in, in one of the previous episodes? <laughs> maybe, maybe there is really, like, you know? <laughs> it's just acting sus as usual. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of do, you know? What the? Okay. Yeah, obviously, like, as I said, it's like one of those. <laughs> okay. Oh, where does he keep it? Oh, so technically it's not in this room, like, you know, like... Yeah, this is like a loophole. <laughs> okay, I think Nagata's going to lose this one. At least I think so. Let's see. Wait, is he going to? Yeah, I think he's going to. All right, all right. Yeah, he's <laughs> bringing it in. <laughs> wow. Talk about being obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I win. Uh, they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, let's go. Enough is enough. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what the hell is this? Okay. That was nice of Senpai, you know? There's no way creeping <laughs> over. Hmm. Oh, she's wearing a piercing. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, that looks... I don't believe that. Oh no, please no! Oh god. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's not the point here. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. Um Oh my Ah uh, Okay Wait, did she really did it? Oh, maybe not. She, he's just like, I don't think she's going to do it. Yeah. That would have been too much, you know? <laughs> she pinched it. Okay, who's here? Oh, Sakura is here. What the? What? Um, what's happening here? Oh. Oh, the, those those guys. Okay, one of those guys. What? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think she's crying. That's crocodile tears. Okay. I can see where this is going to go. Yeah. Oh my god, Nagatoro. <laughs> or he might come and attack Senpai, you know? Like that that that's also another possibility. Oh god. Nagataro. <laughs> I'm full insect. <laughs> Twice! <laughs> What? Wait, wait, that didn't work? Well, obviously, I guess. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's see. I'm sure they're going to follow them. Like, you know, like, there'll be... <laughs> there'll be not one, but... Four stalkers now. Damn, she's like, she came ready. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's count the number of stalkers now. Like, um, I, I think there will be four stalkers. Let's see. One, two, three. There you go. Three stalkers. And there's this other stalker that... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, don't, that won't happen. I, I doubt. Or maybe, who knows? Okay, there you go. Three. 
<laughs> Nagataro is not impressed. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, well. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. Okay. Where's the uh, original guy that the guy who's actually stalking her? Yeah. Okay, there he is. There's the full stalker. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, that's another way to stop this whole, like, you know, this thing. <laughs> like, you know, just catching the guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Four tops. Oh! <laughs> well, he's a harmless. He was a harmless guy. They're like, you know, there's, there's this kind of thing where the guy might go and attack, you know, like those type of aggressive people. Attack the guy, like senpai here. Thank God it's not something like that. Well, she's back to her <laughs> original form. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, wow, okay, that was good. And <laughs> what do you call it? More progress, you know? Like, <clears throat> the, like every episode is like we can see them progress little by little. <clears throat> okay, I, I noticed this now. The the people who who's singing this ending song is is, is uh, you know Nagataro and the other girls, aren't they? I think so. They kind of Gamo, Yoshi, and Sakura. I think so, most probably. <clears throat> All right, so that was <coughs> Okay, so that was episode number nine Okay, let's see Okay, that's it. Yeah All right, so uh, that was episode number nine of Ichida 9 and Agatoro san So yeah, okay, so in this episode it's kind of like, you know, like the same, not a same, but obviously like we see Nagatoro's, excuse me, change 
um, little by little how like in the beginning where the whole <clears throat> you know boxing <laughs> boxing thing comes in um <laughs> the what, what did she call it the pinch or the clinch clinch i think wasn't it yeah and <laughs> said by not being able to i don't know how he did that you know like he was actually going to fall down on his back but i'm guessing <laughs> to stop that he put pressure on the you know, in front and he was unable to control it properly put too much pressure and <laughs> was able to trip on nagataro <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was like <laughs> okay and uh obviously like Nagata goes and brags about it to his her friends but unfortunately it kind of backfires where her friends kind of says that okay like let me let us go and try as well <laughs> and Nagata tries to save uh senpai from that moment and uh, <clears throat> like <laughs> I think they're deliberately doing this, you know, like, especially Gamo, like, Yoshi is kind of, I don't know, like, Yoshi is kind of, uh, what do you call it, um, like, goes along with the flow, like, I think that she's kind of like that, whatever, like, you know, the others do, she kind of follows it, and, but Gamo obviously is proactive in a lot of ways, and Sakura is kind of passive most of the time but when she gets serious she really gets serious like these are like the personalities of the three girls like gamo obviously like doesn't care like you know like she's very straightforward very like you know uh like doesn't even care what's like other things she'll just go ahead with everything uh yoshi uh, not, uh yeah yoshi yoshi as i said like it's kind of like she follows everyone and does what does whatever the others do as well and kind of have fun in her own way and sakura is quite most of the time doesn't you know like do much it's pretty harmless but when she gets serious she's pretty damn serious <laughs> and she's i think like sakura is like the most um what do you call it not intelligent but you know cunning you know like i think that's that's the word like you know like she can like you know like like to get things in her own way she can manipulate people and stuff like that it's kind of like that but not like you know uh, like you know not the bad type of cunning or you know manipulative she's kind of as i as we say like she's she's also kind of like you know having fun in her own way like harmless fun and uh, yeah okay anyways uh so yeah uh, that happened and the whole boxing shenanigan comes to an end <laughs> well nagato understands that yeah i shouldn't have like said this to them and yeah and then we get to the next portion where we uh okay uh just a sec oh yeah the next portion where they kind of start hanging around in senpai's place and, and that was really like you know i have to say that was really nice of senpai like <laughs> i think like at, at the beginning obviously like he was kind of uh like relieved that oh my thank god like you know like i did not keep my thing over here it was it's in the like, you know next room but i think like obviously like nagatoro was really what can i say uh confident and said that okay like i know like you know i know he must have had something like this and you know like this like you know it might seem like this is not such a big deal if nagatoro lost or won but i think it's probably a little thing like you know even if it's a little amount it's quite a big deal at least for nagatoro because like if if they really did not find you know anything in the room it would prove that nagatoro whatever nagatoro said and you know uh like you know her the way he kind of she kind of gorgeous senpai's personality and the way she knows senpai that would be proven wrong like it would mean that even though like you know like they are like you know the, the, obviously most of the time they're together uh, th despite that she barely knows anything about senpai and that would probably like you know uh, hurt her in quite a, like you know a few ways that's why like he was she was so desperate in trying to find it like after being so you know like smug and saying that yeah i know senpai like you know the most and i can like you know i can prove it that he has the stuff here like she was so confident and she like you know like it, it, like this there was a matter of her pride as well that that was like into the whole situation like you know like the pride and the <clears throat> Uh, the pride of that yeah i know senpai the best and like you know if gamo like won 
in that moment it would probably have hurt her in a few ways and i'm guessing like you know like when senpai saw nataro and <laughs> like you know like trying to find it so like you know like desperately he understood he also like understood the situation and like he just said that thing he just quietly went to the next room took out took it out and like <laughs> very <laughs> uh, what do you call it like you know like just like said that oh like i i don't have anything here like and was like kind of hiding it in a very <laughs> like you know bad way obviously so that nagato can notice it and i'm sure nagato didn't even realize that senpai did it deliberately because like she was so like you know excited and so uh, what do you call it like troubled at that moment trying to find that like in that like you know commotion she just like saw and she was like yeah i got it i got it i win i win and but i'm sure this looked pretty apparent in front of gamo and yoshi <laughs> that's why gamo was like what the hell are they even doing <laughs> and said okay i'll leave like i i don't want any more part in this <laughs> like you know in this foolery <laughs> okay and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, and then like after you know, after they they found like you know, uh, Nagator found it. She was so like you know relieved, and she was so like, yeah, I found it. I win. I win. I win. And all of that, like you know, she was kind of freaking out at at, at that. And technically, she kind of won. Like you know, she would have won either way because uh, like uh, you know, like she said that yeah, Senpai has those kind of things, and Gamu said that no, she, he does not have. So like Senpai just kind of was uh, what do you call it like you know a bit little bit more intelligent in kind of keeping you know his stuff he kept it in the like you know in the other room so like the fact that he had it was the truth so you know so either way Nagator uh, wins in this and that kind of proves like Nagator knows Senpai the most so yeah that's just something <clears throat> like like as I said like you know it, it seems as if it's not nothing much but I'm sure like it had a lot of significance uh, like you know winning that thing had a lot of significance at least for Nagatoro because she was like you know she was so confident and said that yeah I know him the most so her losing like that would obviously like you know hurt her pride hurt her confidence and obviously like it would also kind of uh, you know make her think that oh maybe I really do not know him as much and probably it will kind of disappoint her and you know make her sad that would have happened so yeah like anyways and uh, okay so the next one where we uh, is where we see Naotoro and the piercing the whole piercing thing where <clears throat> at the beginning where Naoto says that okay I'm going to pierce like you know your ear and I was thinking okay if she really pierces his ear it will be a bit too much because you know like <clears throat> it's like she's like she'll be causing bodily harm to him like uh, like teasing is okay but causing bodily harm <clears throat> it's not fine in my opinion so like thank god she did not do that uh, like i'm sure i'm sure like he would she wouldn't have even done it like, it's, it's just like you know she was kind of teasing him and he kind of a little bit you know pinched him and uh, yeah yeah and i also like you know I, I'm, I'm really scared of needles like i'm talking about myself <laughs> so i can kind of understand <laughs> senpai's feelings of like you know trying to get a piercing or like you know trying to get a shot <laughs> like i hate those so like you know like anything that causes bodily harm me as well i i am really not comfortable with that so i can very much relate with senpai here <laughs> okay and then comes in sakura with her problem <laughs> you don't know and <laughs> you know what i doubt she was like you know troubled by it like you know like seeing her behavior like in the end the way she was acting I think she deliberately came here and just to like you know mess with senpai she kind of <laughs> like you know like told that okay i'm troubled here like you need to pretend to be my uh boyfriend for a bit and i doubt she even like you know she even needed any help like she's pretty capable herself you know like from her like interactions and everything and seeing her as a character um, I think she herself was pretty capable enough to kind of go and confront the stalker and said that whatever you're doing you can you should stop it Or I'll go to the authorities or something like that, you know 
and she's pretty capable enough so i doubt she needed the help but you know i think she probably just did that just to mess with senpai or something and not mess with senpai so mess with nagatoro sorry not mess with senpai <laughs> so yeah but you know like she kind of thought that yeah this will be good and gamo also kind of you know went in and like <laughs> and started <laughs> you know sprinkling salt into the whole thing and she started saying that uh, you know like <laughs> uh like yeah why not like you know she was kind of saying Nagato, like why not why not why can't he do it and Nagato was like nope she won't he won't because if he starts doing it it will be like you'll have two stalk stalkers <laughs> but anyway sakura kind of went along with it and yeah and then we get to the pretend date that we had and we got not one but four stalkers now um <laughs> nagatoro <laughs> kamo um, yoshi and the guy <laughs> and this is one thing that sakura did in the middle of it which i kind of noticed is like she asked senpai that hey, don't you want anyone to go like you know on a, on a date with and he said that uh it's, she, what did he, he said that no i think yeah he said not really and like gum was kind of like you know working and i think like she probably did that just so that she could make senpai realize you know <clears throat> excuse me senpai realized the actual like you know the whole thing with nagato because as we can see like senpai is obviously quite not dense as per se like you know i, I should say like he probably because of his self-confidence wouldn't even like you know think of the fact that yeah probably Nagatoro likes me like that won't register in his mind because of his self-confidence and Nagatoro obviously because she is embarrassed to admit it like these are like the two problems that they'll have eventually later on you know like this, this they're still in the preparation phase so when the actual like you know time comes this will probably these two things will probably be the main source of problems like you know senpai's senpai self-confidence and Nagatoro's you know embarrassment or yeah something like that but i think Nagatoro has like you know can like you know um, go ahead a little bit easier than senpai because Nagatoro can uh, you know clear that hurdle that he she's going to face the embarrassment problem a lot better than senpai because senpai's problem is more deep rooted within him because of as as we see like you know senpai is lacking of self confidence and everything like that's a pretty deep rooted problem so like you know at least for senpai's uh, like what do you call it side it will be a lot more difficult for him to get out of that situation and i actually realize that yeah naotoro likes me so yeah like whatever like you know have they have to do i think naoto will have to kind of take the first step in it otherwise senpai won't even like you know it won't even register in senpai's head even though he himself is attracted towards her but you know anyways so yeah and then uh, like we get to the next portion and <laughs> that was really intelligent of Nagatoro like she realized the actual problem here like she realized that if I get the stalker <laughs> everything will end like you know I don't have to like say anything else and everything can end then and there so she did, just did what she like you know uh, should have done from the beginning <laughs> she went and caught the stalker and like he apologized and they went away and like thank god as I was saying like thank god the stalker was like someone who's Quite harmless but usually these kind of things somehow like you know sometimes kind of escalate into a bigger deal where there are you know like really dangerous like people in there who like stalk you and like you know like kind of like can creep you out and sometimes it goes into a very bad direction you know like they might even kill someone like like mentally unstable people can do anything so like usually few things are like you know kind of harmless like this like people kind of back down very quickly but there are there are like you know uh, times when this usually goes in a very bad direction that's why all, all always without like you know you should not try to deal with these things yourselves i think like uh, you know informing the proper authorities is very essential because who knows like you know like what other people have there in their mind like they might try to harm you like i was thinking like like but this guy did not seem like a person like that you know the guy who was stalking him like if it was probably someone else like you know who was kind of twisted in his head he might have tried to go and attack senpai you know and who knows maybe she might have attacked he might have attacked the girl as well 
So this type of things happens. So yeah. But anyways. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, like this guy, this guy who was talking to them was not that dangerous. At least it seemed like it, and it, it like you know, in the end, we kind of understood it as well that yeah, he was just like a harmless person, he was kind of like you know infatuated with her, and that's it. So yeah. Anyways, uh, okay, and that, and then we get to see the next portion where obviously like an author says that oh senpai, like you know, you're re not ready for this, and ha 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 ha, and all of these things, and <laughs> senpai kind of. Like, you know, stops and says that, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and Nagatoro gets confused, but, you know. Yeah, so that was it. So, yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to Ijira Nai the Nagatoro san, episode number 9. We're almost at the end, and I'm really going to miss this show after it ends. And I really hope they, like, you know, bring a second season as quick as possible. I'm not sure how much further the manga is from the anime. But I think the manga is like, 80 plus chapters, so it's quite a lot, I think. So, I don't know, like, maybe we'll have a second season, like, you know, enough source material for it in the future. So, I really hope they kind of, like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for, like, you know, when, when this season ends, hopefully they'll announce a second season or something. Because I'm sure this is very popular, I, I, because Nagato the manga had a huge fan base. And I'm sure all of those people who, right you know, read the manga came in and watched the anime. And, like, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, who are only anime watchers, they also kind of like after hearing the good things about this anime kind of came and started watching this and got hooked to it i'm sure about it so the fan base is increasing day by day so i'm sure they'll make like you know a second season in the future because obviously a lot of like you know shows which shouldn't even get second season get second season so why not this so yeah anyway so yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of israel 9 so until then goodbye and have a nice day